Well, hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor. So, a few weeks ago I was watching one of my favorite booktube channels, Coffee, Cats and King, uh, and uh, Joshua, who does that channel, had put a throwaway bid on a big bunch of vintage science fiction books. I think there was 130 or something. It was just a throwaway bid he put down and he won. And so he did the uh, book haul to end all book hauls video, which was fantastic. And it inspired me the next time I was on eBay, I happened to come across another big batch of vintage science fiction go on, go on for auction. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna throw, put a throwaway bid down here and on the off chance that I win, which I didn't think I would because I never win bids on eBay. You know, if I just buy something, then I'm good. But if I put a bid down, I'm always outbid. Like, always. But this time, I actually I actually won. Uh, so I'm going to be doing my big vintage unboxing, inspired by Joshua at Coffee Cats and King. It is all his fault, this irresponsible purchase. So I've got this <clears throat> big box here. It's kind of large. It's a repurposed Amazonian box. So, yeah. So I'm gonna open this one up right now and we're gonna see what's inside. Okay. Let's see, I probably, if there's a lot of books in here and I think there are, I'll probably do this rather quickly so it doesn't take all night. We'll see what we've got, okay. Yeah, there's science fiction books, all right. All right, let's see what we've got here. So I'm just gonna flash them up. Now I vow, I hereby vow, I'm gonna read every one of these books. Might take me a while, might take me a long while, but I'm gonna read every one of them. So let's see what we've got. Robert Heinlein, Beyond This Horizon. Okay, are these short stories? I don't know what that is. Let's see. Ooh, this looks like a terror by Frederick Fole. I know nothing about that, but I'm going to read it. Okay, more Heinlein. Tunnel in the Sky. What is that? I've never even heard of that before. Tunnel in the Sky. Okay, what else do we got? John Brunner. Brunner? Polymath? Okay, whatever that is. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a double here. Okay. Rendezvous on a Lost World by A. Bertram Chandler, whoever that is. You flip it over. We got The Door Through Space, Marion Zimmer Bradley. Hey, there we go. She's good. Okay, so this is a good one. What else do we got here? Another double. Okay. Ace double, The Singing Stones by Juanita Colson. It's a nice cover there. On the back, we got Dry by E.C. Tubb. Don't know what that is, but okay. What else do we got here? Satellite E1 by Jeffrey Light Castle. That looks kind of cool. More, another double novel, okay. <laughs> Crisis on Charon by another Juanita Colson. And we've got The Winds of Gath, another EC tub. I guess those two go together. The best science fiction of the year, number two. What year was this? See, now I'm curious. 1973, best science fiction of 1973, according to Terry Carr. Okay. Gods for Tomorrow. Edited by Hans Stefan Santison. Santison? Santison. Okay. Oh! Philip Jose Farmer's Lord Tiger, which I think was his version of Lord Greystoke. So that should be interesting. All the Colors of Darkness. Lloyd Biggle Jr. Don't know what that is. Hey, get out of my sky! by uh, a story selected by Leo Margulis. 
What else do we got here? The Human Zero. And other science fiction masterpieces. Okay. More stories with a interesting looking fella on the cover. What else do we got? Dark Universe by Daniel F. Galois. I have no idea who this guy is, but there you go. Terrifying Universe. Exile from Xanadu by Ian Wright. Another <laughs> this cover didn't fare so well. The Golden People by Fred Saberhagen. Hey, Fred Saberhagen. There you go. That's going to be a good one. What do we got here? The Shores of Tomorrow by David Mason. I don't know what that is. A lot of these I haven't heard of. Mankind Under the Leash by Thomas M. Dish. And Planet of Exile by Ursula K. Le Guin. Hey, a winner. Well, I think I might have heard of this one. I might have heard of this somewhere. Yeah, I think that might be kind of good. Kingsley Amos, New Maps of Hell. That's a good title. The Time Dissolver, Jerry Soul. Something called Alpha 2. Oh, edited by Robert Silverberg. So looks like another anthology. Yet another anthology. Brian Aldiss, Star Swarm. This is a lot of books, guys. The Ragged Edge by John Christopher. I have no idea what it is, but it's a chilling masterpiece, according to Columbus Dispatch. Okay. Hey, I've heard of this one, John Wyndham. Wyndham, The Midwich Cuckoos. I actually wanted to read this book. There you go, now I got this book. And Eric Frank Russell, Somewhere a Voice. Somewhere a Voice. Something called Silverlock. Uh, this looks like a... No, it says science fiction. Oh, well, it looks kind of fantasy-like to me. But I don't know. We'll find out when I read it. I'll read it eventually. Extraterrestrials Among Us. <laughs> George C. Andrews. I'm sure this is just totally scientifically accurate, uh, whatever this book is. But that one looks pretty good. I'm going to send this one over to Revenant Reads because I think he'd really like that. He's into those UFOs, you know, Revenant Reads. Analog One, John W. Campbell, uh, Eight Science Fiction Stories. There we go. The Moon is a Harsh Mistress. I already have this one, but now I've got two of this exact same edition. Dimension of Miracles by Robert Sheckley. This is a lot of books. Three Worlds to Conquer by Paul Anderson. Paul Anderson's pretty good. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run out of space here pretty quick. What do we got? Masters of Science Fiction. This cover seen hard times. I actually think I might have another copy of that, which is better, believe it or not. Revolton 2100, Heinlein. I didn't have that one, I don't think. Time Out of Joint by Philip K. Dick. Okay. Oh, here we go. The Demolished Man by Alfred Bester. Actually have Demo the Demolished Man, but I don't have this cool, cool copy of Demolished Man, so this is pretty awesome. And now we've got Alas, Babylon by Pat Frank, alas. Got some Henry Kutner here, bypass to otherness. We've got, ooh, Edmund Hamilton here, City at World's End. I've read this before actually, and it's a pretty darn good book. City at World's End, awesome. Behold the Stars by Kenneth Bulmer. Flip that over, and it's Planetary Agent X by Mac Reynolds. Mac Reynolds. 
And it goes on. A Gift from Earth, Larry Niven. It is piling up pretty high over there. Earth Blood, a SF novel by Keith Lommer and Rosal George Brown. Never heard of this one. A lot of these, I'm like, hmm? Possible Worlds of Science Fiction, edited by Graf Conklin. He does some good anthologies, Graf Conklin. At least he did back in the olden days. Robert Sheckley's The Status Civilization. Never heard of that one either. Uh, we got some Theodore Sturgeon, A Touch of Strange. You always want just a touch of strange, just a touch. Okay, I'm gonna have to make some room over here. Let me just make some room where I can put some of this stuff. Okay, can I get through the rest of these in 10 minutes? Let's see. The Offworlders by John Baxter. The best from fantasy and science fiction. This is the 11th series. I think I've got a few of those lying around. Space Hounds of IPC uh, by Edward E. Smith. I don't know. I don't know what that is. That guy looks a little angry on that cover. He must be a space hound. New Writings in SF2. Another anthology it looks like. Times Without Number by John Bruner. Flip it over, and it is Destiny's Orbit, Orbit by David Grinnell. David Grinnell? David Grinnell, whoever that was. Alpha! Five! Nine Spurp Science Fiction Stories. So, another paperback anthology. I bet there's some really cool, weird stuff in those anthologies. Nine Tomorrows by Isaac Asimov. Nine. Nine Tomorrows. Count them. Okay. The Dark Light Years by Brian Aldiss. Hey, I've heard of this one. Prelude to Foundation by Isaac Asimov. I actually haven't read this one. I've read the Foundation Trilogy, but not this one. So that's that should be kind of interesting. Uh, oh, Cordwainer Smith, The Quest of Three Worlds. Cordwainer Smith. There we go. Classic. Another cover that did not fare well. The Communipaths. By Suzette Holden Elgin. That should be interesting. And on the other side, we've got The Noblest Experiment in the Galaxy uh, by Lewis Trimble. A lot of these names, man. I, I haven't heard of a lot of these people. Strange Enough? Strangely, strangely Enough uh, by C.B. Colby. Strangely Enough. Oh, we got some James Blisher. So close to home. So close. So close to home. That looks like post-apocalyptic goodness there. What do we got? A for Andromeda. Fred Hoyle and John Elliott. A for Andromeda. What else we got in here? High Vacuum by Charles Eric. Charles Eric Maine. Is it Eric? Looks like Elric. Can't be Elric. I'm going to say Eric. Now I want to know if it's... Yeah, it's Eric. Charles Eric Maine. Just strange lettering, and I don't have my glasses on. The Bloody Sun by Marion Zimmer Bradley. That should be good. The Bloody Sun. The Productions of Time by John Brunner. The Corridors of Time. The Astonishing New Novel by Paul Anderson. It's astonishing. No longer new, though. Wield Maker by Terry Bisson. Wield, Wield Maker. Looks like some sword and sorcery goofiness. I can go for some of that. The Tritonian Ring. The Tritonian Ring by El Sprague de Camp. That guy that screwed up Conan, El Sprague de Camp. Oh well, I'll read it. May Kevin O'Donnell Jr. Mayflies. The story of the man who became a universe. That is interesting. Zena Henderson, Holding Wonder. Okay, let's see. The Quay Effect, Arthur Sellings. 
I don't think this one's science fiction. Someone snuck in as he hintons the outsiders. Doesn't look too science fiction-y to me, the outsiders. Maybe I'm remembering it really wrong. I don't think so, though. Ring Around the Sun by Clifford D. Samack. I've actually wanted this book. So I'm glad to have that. Okay, I'm really running out of room. Let me make, just make some more space here. Okay. Okay. We've got Night Slaves with Half a Missing Cover by Jerry Soule. So this one is Come Upon Bad Times there. Something called Shadow Light. <laughs> by Jackie Hyman. I'm starting to regret my, my vow to read all of these. I just dropped a book. The Micro Colony by Gordon Williams. Here we go. Nice big dog looking fella there. What do we got? The Long Winter by John Christopher. Hey, this one I've been wanting to read. I saw the movie Logan's Run. Yeah, this one's by William F. Nolan and George Clayton Johnson, Logan's Run. Yeah, I saw that movie back in the day. The Green Hills of Earth by Heinlein. The Green Hills of Earth. A.E. Van Voigt, The Voyage of the Space Beagle. I think I have a newer copy of this, but this is the cooler copy. Of Godlike Power by Mac Reynolds of Godlike Power. Yeah. Okay. The Winged Man by A.E. Van Voigt and E. Main Hull. Something called After the Rain by John Bowen. Childhood's End by Arthur C. Clarke. This is going to be like my longest video, it looks like. Andromeda Breakthrough by Fred Hoyle and John Elliott. Ooh, we got the Science Fiction Hall of Fame. I got that in hardcover, but this is the old classic paper bag there. Ooh, Doctor Who! The Caves, Vendrosny. Yay, Doctor Who! I like Doctor Who. Ooh, The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. I did a whole video on The Time Machine. Giants Unleashed. Another Groff Conklin. Uh, anthology, so that one's going to be good. He always does good. Anthology, Arthur C. Clarke, Time Probe, The Sciences in Science Fiction. That should be interesting. Uh-oh, it's The Matrix. Matrix by G Douglas R. Mason. That should be interesting. I don't think that's The Matrix we are familiar with. Ooh, The Metal Monster by Arth A. Merritt. I can't remember whether A. Merritt's Arthur or not. The Deep Range by Arthur C. Clarke. And it just goes on and on. Red Planet by Heinlein. Trouble on Titan by Alan E. Norse. Arthur C. Clarke, Expedition to Earth. The Humanoids. Jack Williams, Jack Williamson's The Humanoids. Okay, something called Telepath by Arthur Sellings. What else do I got in here? New Writings in SF8. The Menace from Earth by Heinlein. A few more left in here. After Doomsday by Paul Anderson. First Contact by Damon Knight. Oh, the world's best science fiction, 1971, the year I was born. So that's kind of cool. I'm glad I got that. What do I got here? Alfred, Alfred Brester. Okay, Alfred Brester's Starbursts. Collection of uh, his stories, I think. That's going to be really good right there. And Nebula Award Stories 10. And I think I dropped one. Light a Last Candle by Vincent King. Interesting. So, yes. That was gigantic. 
and this is a bad sign. Some random pages that are just floating around at the bottom of the box. I wonder what book this could belong to. The Shores of Tomorrow, okay. So The Shores of Tomorrow are missing some pages. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep those pages out. Try to fit them back into The Shores of Tomorrow. So yeah, that was a lot of books. Yeah. So there you go. Eventually I will read every one of those. Eventually. Even the really goofy looking ones, of which there were a few. So I hope you enjoyed that Titanic unboxing. <sighs> I won't have to buy any science fiction vintage paperbacks for a while. I will haul all these down to the vault of ancient science fiction and uh, put them under the care of the robotic overlords under there. Thank you for joining me once again here at Stately Vaughn Matter. I will see you again this Sunday for the Sunday Penguin and then Mythos Monday following that. Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, oh, and I'm going to link uh, Copycat and King's, uh, his epic book haul uh, down below uh, so you can compare the awesomeness. Thanks, guys.